To be honest with you, the RH bill is not about healthcare. RH bill is big business. That is the the reason behind that, no? The lobbying of these multinational pharmaceutical companies, no? This last version of the bill actually came from us. Uh, before Congress opened, uh, we actually sat down the various groups that are uh, supporting the RH bill. And uh, we looked at the previous bills and, and came up with uh, the formulation that we uh, wanted to uh, push. And then what happened was that we told uh, the, the present authors, uh, we gave them our copy of the bill. And uh, that's very good because most of them actually filed the bill in total. The people behind this also is the, the, the rich and the powerful uh, uh, capitalists no? supported by Western countries who would like to, to change the culture of third world countries following their culture. No? Even in the uh, Senate, the bill that was filed by Senator Miriam uh, Santiago came from us also. So we can say that there is no truth, definitely, to what others say, that the bill is from the Americans. Excuse me, okay? <laughs> I have to be honest and admit that we have neglected, the church also is at fault, no? That we don't have that uh, extensive program of educating the people. Perhaps this is a wake-up call, this RH bill issue is a wake-up call for the church to be aware of her responsibility to educate you know, her, uh, her faithfuls in the context of uh, responsible parenthood. The RH bill is not the first bill that we have uh, worked on. Uh, it's, uh, we can actually say that uh, the anti-rape law was a product of our advocacy and it took us nine years before we got that new law. Uh, the anti-violence against women uh, and children, uh, anti vowsy 9262, is also a product of our advocacy, and it took us 10 years uh, uh, before we succeeded in having it uh, uh, passed into a law. We did uh, the work on sexual harassment, we contributed to the anti-trafficking in persons uh, law, and also in the Magna Carta of Women law. So the, we have quite a long uh, and fruitful experience in relation with advocacy, but so far the RH advocacy is the one that's taking us the longest.